Sergeant William Harvey Carney, who earned this honor for protecting the symbol of our nation itself, the American flag. Born into slavery in Norfolk, Virginia, 1840, his family was eventually granted freedom and moved to Massachusetts, where Carney was eager to learn and secretly got involved in academics, despite laws and restrictions that banned black men from learning to read and write. Now, Carney had originally wanted to pursue a career in the church, a man of God, but when the Civil War broke out, he decided that the best way he could serve God was by serving in the military and help free the oppressed. And in March of 1863, Carney joined the Union Army, and he was attached to Company C in the 54th Massachusetts Colored Infantry Regiment. And if you know that regiment, it's the same one that the movie Glory, one of my favorites, is about. And it was the first official black unit recruited for the Union in the North. Forty other black men served with him, including two of Frederick Douglass's sons. And a few months later, Carney's training would be put to the ultimate test, as soon his unit would face its first major combat mission in Charleston, South Carolina. It would be on July 18, 1863, the legendary battle for Fort Wagner, that Kearney would earn his Medal of Honor. It was a bloody hard fight, and in the end, the Union would taste defeat, as they were never able to successfully overrun and capture the fort. And the legendary Colonel Robert Shaw, along with many of his officers and men, were also killed, leading the 54th in this charge. The soldiers of Kearney's regiment led the charge on Fort Wagner, and during the battle, the unit's color guard was shot. Kearney, who was only a few feet away from this, saw the dying man begin to stumble, and he scrambled to catch the falling flag before it could hit the ground. Despite suffering several serious gunshot wounds himself, Kearney kept the flag held high as he crawled up the hill to the walls of Fort Wagner, urging his fellow troops to follow him. Come on! He planted the flag in the sand at the base of the fort and held it upright until his near lifeless body was rescued. Even then, he would not give up the flag. Many witnesses said that Carney refused to let go of the flag, even give it up to his rescuers, and held on to it tighter and tighter until, with assistance, he made it to the Union's temporary barracks and a field hospital. Kearney suffered heavy blood loss and nearly lost his life as well, but despite these conditions, not once did he allow the American flag to touch the ground. For these actions, he was promoted the rank of sergeant immediately. It is also notable that, upon realizing that his troops had to retreat under fire, he did attempt to struggle back across the battlefield with the flag, being wounded two more times in the retreat. And when he did finally turn over the colors to another member of his regiment, he modestly said, Boys, I only did my duty. The old flag never touched the ground. And quite some years later, on May 23rd, 1900, Carney was finally awarded his Medal of Honor for his bravery. His legacy serves as a shining example of the patriotism that Americans felt at that time, despite the color of his skin and the wrongings that his people had gone through. As for the 54th in which he served, it was disestablished after the war, but was actually reactivated in 2008 as the Massachusetts Army National Guard 54th Volunteer Regiment. It now serves as a ceremonial unit that renders military honors at funerals and state functions, and it was even invited to march in President Barack Obama's inauguration parade, which I personally see as an extremely appropriate use of the regiment and completely full circle symbolism of America's first black regiment marching in the parade for America's first black president.
As for Carney's later life, he was a postal employee and a popular speaker at patriotic events. He died in Boston, Massachusetts and is buried at the family plot in Oak Grove Cemetery, New Bedford, Massachusetts. Engraved on his stone monument is a gold image of the Medal of Honor. And that concludes this video of my Willie Cuz history lesson on the first black man to be awarded the Medal of Honor in service to our country. Just an amazing story, an amazing human being, the type that I wish I could just travel back in time, not tell him who I was or where I was from, but to say, thank you for your service, sir. Thank you for all you have done. You are an inspiration to a nation. God bless you. Nothing more, nothing less. Probably be pretty confused though, wouldn't he? I'll catch you guys on the flip side. This has been Willie Cuz. If you are enjoying these kinds of videos, be sure to support my content by leaving a like, a comment, or maybe sharing with others, and definitely subscribe to join my crew today. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out and God bless.